Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. No special reason, really. I was just... practicing an incantation. What can I say? She's... she's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is, and embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. And as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Then follow my lead. Now you. A familiar feeling, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Real Kantrak Eo. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now. I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony, as true as you can. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman? The woman who hovered over Gail's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> you did it! You're channeling the weave! How does it feel? That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gail will know it. I... I didn't think... You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment trepidation and finally elation sorry i wasn't expecting but it is a pleasant image to be sure most pleasant in fact most welcome the weave evaporates and as it does so you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome oh there it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. The dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth.
He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. His eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles on his paws, ready to chase after it. Feed if you must, Astarian. But give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Lower. Gods, deliver me. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Mind you, all I did was call for ale. But you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Ah, well, drink to that. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. But I want it all the same. Do you? Your loss, I fear. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. <laughs> Look what we got here! Another little birdie wanting to fly! Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm! And you! Hope you got a stomach for rights! What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly! Cause it makes me laugh! <laughs> 